I exposed my ex-fiancé and destroyed her life after she spread lies about me to our family and friends. I 25 male met my now ex-fiancé in my first year of college. We were both 18 and went from friends to lovers pretty quickly. We clicked so well and everything was so easy and effortless. We had a really good relationship. It's the kind of relationship that everyone wishes they were in. The kind of relationship that people idolized and said if those two broke up, then love doesn't exist. You get the picture. For the purpose of this post, let's call my ex Ashley. Ashley was everything I was looking for in a woman. Funny, smart, attractive, down-to-earth and family-oriented. She wanted to build a life together. Our families got close over the course of our relationship. It was like we were already one big family before even getting married. As planned, I popped the question a year ago not knowing that this would change everything. She said yes of course, but things started to change. Slowly but surely, over the months, she became more distanced. I tried to ignore it and chalk it up to nervousness. You know, cold feet before taking the big marriage plunge. I should have trusted my instincts. She always went out with her group of friends on the weekends. I've been on these outings before. Usually it's clubbing and drinking. It's not my scene but I trusted my girl so I had no problem with her going without me. These outings became much more frequent after I popped the question. I tried to ignore my gut feeling that something was wrong about this. I should have listened. Last week I get a text from one of her girlfriends. She said she feels super guilty about what's been going on. According to her, Ashley has been worried about getting married. She feels that she hasn't had a chance to explore other options and the prospect of getting locked down for life made her really anxious. On these outings, she will frequently flirt with guys, dance with them, grind on them, make out with them, to get it out of her system. Since she wasn't having ass with them, she didn't consider it cheating. According to the friend, she also gave one guy a BJ in the club bathroom. She sent me pictures and videos from some of those escapades. My heart sank. I felt like I died that day. I thanked the friend for telling me and told her to keep it between us. For me, any form of cheating is a big no-no. I knew it was over. What makes this worse is that I have a past with cheating. She knows about my high school ex who cheated on me. And being a stupid teenager, I tried to end it all. This just makes this whole situation cut even deeper. She knows how much hurt she could cause and still went ahead with it. I wanted to crawl into bed and cry for a month. I wanted to be weak. I felt weak. I decided I would give myself the chance to mourn and cry over this after I protect myself. Me and my fiancé share an apartment that we both pay rent for 50-50. I decided to take two days off work and covertly started to move my things out to my brother's house across the city. He knows about everything and immediately offered his place to me. The first day I moved non-essential items out. When Ashley got back from work she made a comment about it but I brushed it off by saying I sold some stuff and took some more stuff to a storage unit to tidy and clear space up in our apartment. She didn't question it. I was furious on the inside about everything that I found out about but kept cool to avoid suspicion. She noticed I was a bit withdrawn but I told her I was just tired and stressed from work. The second day, while she was at work, my brother and his wife came over to help me pack everything else and I was fully moved out by 3 p.m. that day. Since then, I have avoided every single form of communication sent by my ex. I have completely cut her off. I refuse to talk to her or her family. I don't even want to confront her about what happened. She came home that day and saw everything was gone. She texted all my friends and family who in turn texted me. But I only responded to my parents who are fully behind me in my decision. Her family and friends are blowing up my phone and saying that I'm a jerk for leaving without a word. They've even been blasting me on social media. I don't really care. She knows what she did. To me she is unalive. She doesn't exist. Because of all this backlash, my brother and his wife are now also questioning if it was right of me to completely ignore everyone. This has caused me to doubt myself a bit, so here I am. Update. After an overwhelming amount of people screamed at me in the comments to speak out, I decided to break my silence. I didn't want to make this whole thing public. Despite what she did, some part of me still cares for her. I was with her for six years. You can't just throw that away overnight. I came to the conclusion that the right thing to do was to talk to her parents. Only her family needed to know. Everyone else can have whatever opinion they want of me, I don't care. The people who truly know me and are close to me are the only ones I care about. I sent a detailed message of what happened to my closest friends and family. All of them, of course, believed me right away, no pictures needed. I didn't feel like it was necessary or appropriate to spread those pictures of her, so I didn't. Now that the people I cared about were sorted, I moved on to her parents. I messaged her mom, who by the way I had gotten so close to I considered her a second mom and she considered me a son. She was very upset with me, but agreed to meet up. I felt like this needed to be an in-person conversation rather than a new guy drop in an email with everyone they know cc. I met her mom and her dad at a diner we used to frequent for breakfast. I know, so cliche. It was quite emotional. They were understandably upset. 
They didn't do anything wrong and I cut them out of my life like nothing happened. I understood why they were upset. So when they were confronting me I was very quiet, just listening, letting them get it all out. I admit I was tearing up with them. That is until they accused me of some things. It's been a whole week since all of this went down. In that week, a lot happened. Apparently, according to her parents, my ex convinced everyone that I cheated and that she kicked me out, and I haven't been answering anyone because I was so ashamed of what I had done. LOL. I literally laughed out loud. I responded by saying that I am sorry and I wished them a happy life and walked out. I was so f upset I couldn't even have imagined of being accused of this. What a f joke. I can't believe her parents would believe her and throw me under the bus so fast. I walked out because I'm pretty sure I would have said some things I'd regret to her parents. I didn't want to do this but she left me no choice. I activated the nuclear option. I went home, made an email titled for your reading pleasure and attached every picture her friend sent me, including screenshots of the chat with her friend where she expressed how guilty she felt about the cheating. I also attached the videos of her grinding and making out with other guys. I included a long explanation detailing everything that has happened since D-Day. I ended the email by saying that I do not wish to be contacted and that I expect my ring back at some point. I attached her, her parents, any friend I could think of, and a co-worker that I just so happened to know as well. F it. So that's where I'm at now. I may be the jerk for sending that email, but she really tested my F limits when I found out what she was telling people. I have zero regrets. Currently crashing at my brother place on the pull-out couch. He's helping me get through this, as much as one can I guess. Who knows what kind of fallout that email will create. Either way, I'm gonna sit back and enjoy it with popcorn while sobbing. Final update. I wanted to take a quick moment to thank everyone that reached out to me and offered kind words of support and advice. The reason it took me two months to be able to come back here and write an update is because so much has happened in such a short span of time that even I'm having trouble processing it. The fallout after I sent that nuke of an email was catastrophically hilarious. My phone was blowing up with my ex's friends and family asking me tons of questions. Before I had sent that email, everyone was under the impression that I was a cheater and was kicked out. That email not only cleared my name, it basically turned everyone against my ex. Rumors of what had happened started circulating at her job. I attached one of her co-workers to the email if you remember from my last update. Apparently she couldn't take the embarrassment and ended up quitting. Her parents were less than impressed and refused to take her back in. They reached out to me and apologized for the way things went down. They recognized that they didn't have all the facts and judged me too quickly. I'm cool with them now. They told me that my ex was struggling to make payments for her half of the rent. When I covertly moved out I contacted our landlord and explained the situation. We only had three months left on the lease so I paid my half for those three months so I'm in the clear. Honestly it was worth it even though I'm not living there. Our mutual friends also didn't take too kindly to being lied to and basically being manipulated to hate me. From what I've heard, most of our shared friends don't talk to her anymore. Even some of her girlfriends who knew what had been happening behind my back stopped talking to her, which is a little ironic if you ask me. I guess now that everything was public, no one wanted to be associated with her. And speaking of her friends, remember the one that initially came forward to me about this because she felt so bad? Yeah so we're dating now. I guess through all the trauma, drama, and craziness, we started texting more and more. At first, she was just very supportive. She comforted me and helped me come to terms with what happened. But slowly and surely, we became closer and closer and started to talk about our lives, our interests, our dreams. We realized we had a lot in common. We are also both single and young. We kinda just fell right into it naturally. She's honestly so great. Very kind and loving. I am aware that some people may think this is just a rebound. But I'm really enjoying my time with her and things are going great. I feel great. Since everything went down, I have had no contact with my ex. I've heard through multiple friends that she is livid that I ghosted her and won't even talk to her. She says what I'm doing to her is torture because I won't even give our relationship closure. I just laughed because if she thinks what I'm doing is torture, then she's clueless about what she put me through. I'm honestly good. I will go the rest of my life without ever talking to her again. Call me petty. Call me dumb. I am who I am and I feel this is right. As for me, life is looking good. I'm dating an amazing girl. I've gotten so much support from my family and friends. It's nice to see who the real ones are. You know the ones that actually stuck with me throughout this whole ordeal. And best of all, I feel like I'm really moving on from this whole thing.